Well, it looks like I jumped ahead of you. Uh, jumped ahead of you a little bit. Uh, I have my green roof in. A bunch of short strokes there. That is made of uh, cat yellow pale, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and cobalt blue. I didn't want to use ultramarine blue because it's not blue. It's not blue enough. It doesn't make as as green a green. And I initially thought, well, you know, I don't want to portray too much moss on it, but that's okay. You know, old wood can have a greenish tint to it too, and there can be lichen on it. Anyway, it's all plausible. <clears throat> so did the roof, and you know, except for a few little things that I'll have to touch still. That's it for the roof. Now I'm going in here. In this shady band underneath the eave, I've used uh, cat red medium and a bit of cobalt blue and a hint of white. And then going below that, I've used cat red medium, a touch of alizarin and crimson, and I've dipped into the cad medium orange. And probably that's as intense as I will go with the reds. It'll, it'll lean a little bit towards the orange area. Uh, probably a good portion of this wall yet will have hints of orangey red. This wall might have a touch of it, but it'll be more toned down. <coughs> um, then we have the doorway and the post. I'll talk to you then. It just occurred to me that I was excluding you from part of the painting that's actually can be quite a bit of fun. And that's not very nice of me. So as you can see, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to uh, paint any boards or anything. I'm just going to paint the wall like a wall and leave some interesting texture there. That is up to you to decide what it is. And of course, seeing as I painted the foreground and I need my hand to steady my knife hand, I am getting paint on my fingers. I was a little concerned about coming down too far with these walls, but I think they're okay where they are.
we want those walls a little bit lighter. Just a bit. brushed or my knife strokes to look quite so contrived. playing again. I'm playing and that's a dangerous game. All right. I'm going to stop. I think those walls are just fine. I, I, do, I don't like the door doing this. I want that to be wire. Okay. You know, this is probably as much in my imagination as anything, but... I want the cabin in general to have the feeling of it squatting. And I think this side's okay now. I think I'd like to bring that side over. So...
keep looking at it and looking at it, and then this bothers me, and then that bothers me, and before you know it, I've uh, gotten myself into trouble. Okay. See, I've already gotten a bit of red there. In a place where I did not want it at all. All right. Okay. That's enough for now. See you later, guys. Have a good one. Oh, okay. I think the red was so washed out in the last clip that I showed you, I decided to do this. So you can see a close-up of a little bit of the knife work on the roof and the walls. Red seems to be a very challenging color when you get into these intensities. To me it looks, well, it looks just fine uh, in reality. But the camera doesn't seem to know quite what to do with it. Okay, so the next video I will show you will probably be just a clip of the finished painting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.